morning from Bologna, Italy, where I seem to spend a little bit of time every now and then. Uh, today we are, uh, are going to be looking at a fab lab, a makerspace, in the, uh, in the city of Torino, Italy. Uh, Turin, as it's called in English, uh, famous for many things, uh, a uh, city of culture, the site of the National Film Museum, which is fascinating, by the way, if you're ever in that part of the world. But today we're visiting uh, Fab Lab Torino, and uh, the Fab Lab is uh, it's a you know ten years old this year, so it's been around for a well, you know that's a long time in the life of many maker spaces that seem to come and go. But um, Fab Lab Torino is endured and are, are doing well. Uh, what's especially interesting about Fab Lab Torino is its origin story. Uh, now many many makers all over the world are familiar with a little gizmo called the Arduino. If I was in my home studio, I would have a half a dozen of them to show you different models and so on, because I really like playing with the Arduinos. It's a little board, a little board that uh, is programmable and it does all kinds of tricks. And uh, a lot of people learn uh, about uh, how computers work, how microcontrollers work, uh, you know, using the Arduino. Well, it turns out that the Arduino was actually uh, developed in Torino, in the same city. And uh, the makerspace turns out to have been an idea uh, of uh, some of the folks at the, uh, at the, in the Arduino group who, uh, who thought it would be cool to try to have a, a pop-up makerspace in Torino for a few months and see how it would work. Well, it worked really well. They are actually located in the same building uh, that the Arduino project is located in. Think how cool that is, makers. If you uh, you had a question about you know, something on the Arduino that you're trying to battle with, then uh, you could just walk upstairs. <laughs> uh, both organizations are in a uh, really interesting building. It's, uh, it's called uh, Toolbox. Toolbox is a co-working space that, uh, that has a, a bunch of different buildings, different, uh, enterprises in it. So uh, join me as we uh, take a look and meet some of the people at Fab Lab Torino. Okay, Damiano Frisone. And uh, you're the, the manager, the person in charge of the lab here. Yes, I'm the Fab Lab manager here yeah. for uh, Fab Lab Torino. And Fab Lab Torino, is it an independent organization or is it part of the university? Or? No, it's absolutely independent. It's kind of our um, a mission, no, our vision to have a, a space that uh, it's uh, really free for the user to enter and exit yes, yes. and can find uh, maybe all the stuff that it's working, but if it's not, it's like to contribute, to, to help, and this yes. is what uh, for the user, it's a space for the of the user, property kind of, of the users too. This is uh, very important uh, yes, yes. for me that uh, can uh, I can we can have uh, the this um, focus? Okay, yes. we live uh, for from the money of the the user name and and some project too. Yes. But we have no big sponsor. Yes. For now, but we are working to have some interesting, you know, collaboration just of to course. Uh, because uh, it's it's the it's the right place to maybe try and test uh, stuff. We have um, all kind of uh, users because, uh, you know, what, what I say that you have a physical point to meet, okay, to meet each other. So yes, it's, yes. it's the right place to, to have uh, some professionist, professional uh, figure, mm -hmm. some hobbies, but some student too. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, um, when somebody comes in here, I, I'm a person off the street. I've heard about this fantastic facility, this awesome facility, and uh, I want to use the uh, the laser cutter. I come to you and say, I'd like to use a laser cutter. Your well, system, you can see, it's very. Uh, to, this, to, this this machine needs a lot of power for yeah. because the the optics it's very short. So and it would be very hard to uh, to run a uh, exhaust to the outside here. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. Hard. We have uh, like this. We make this from the oh, roof, so we, we have to call. now. Now, it, now we are moving, but it should be the laser cutter should be here. You're, you're, the, you're moving. 
yeah, we move everything every day. <laughs> so you need more wheels on your. Oh, you have yeah, wheels on yeah, your. Yeah, we have wheels on everything. So. Well, laser cutters are expensive machines, yeah. uh, and they uh, require cleaning. They require using certain materials. How how are you sure that that person who's coming to use the the laser cutter will be able to do it and not destroy your machine? Mm, the the thing is that. He, we, we have uh, for every machine a QR code with the, the instruction. Ah. So you have uh, two ways to learn how to use a machine. By yourself, mm -hmm. okay? The, the only th thing that uh, we ask to you, then when you booked for the first time, you have to be sure that someone of us is here. I see. For the first. First. It's very clean, it's step by step, by, with, with figures and everything, and mm -hmm. it's on GitHub, so it's open source and yeah. it's for free for everyone. And so. is, it, is it a wiki or a it's a wiki, yeah. A wiki, yeah. So we have this kind of uh, first layer. If you are here, you need it. You can use it. It's impossible to 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 protect the machines of if course, you want yeah. new users. Um, so we, we broke a lot of machines, yeah, of but we have a lot of people that can fix it. So. We have the cubes here, all the, the you know, like the, the extra tubes. Oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> because those when are, those you are, finish those, one, it's... Those, those are dead. So yeah, every yeah. machine you see here are fixed by our users. And they do with love for us. So it's totally different uh, way of, it's not something, someone that you have to call and wait for them. If they have free know. time, they yeah. spend here, they make like upgrade for machines or they clean the machines this this the users depend about the level but they used to clean the the mirror of the laser of or course, to yeah. check the some users the tools, not, not some so users yeah, yeah the tools yeah. of the new machines so we, we are a real community indeed so and we are very old we have more than 10 years so we have a lot of people that go because in this Field. If you know how to do digital fabrication, you used to go abroad. You go away. You go, I don't know, to US and the north of Europe, and then they start coming back because they they have child. They start coming back, right. and maybe they find a new company here yeah. because we are here too. Like uh, it's a private donation. I mean, we we pay very very low rent, yeah. uh, very yeah. very cheap rent because we start with Arduino at the beginning, so they, they have like, uh, they leave us here because we create the environment. I mean, yes. we create uh, this situation for new makers, new people. So, but it's very hard when, when you don't have, you know, the money to pay the bill right. for, the, yeah. for the end of the month. Yeah. You always have to follow the decision of our, someone else. The, the balance, the gender balance in the space here, uh, are there are there a significant number of women who are members of the space and do they... Yes. Yes. And it's in the end, yes. Uh, I think it, there is uh, many men and guys mm -hmm. uh, for respect to women, but uh, not respect the, the old times, I, I say, okay, yeah. where is it ex only, <laughs> the only men, only, you know, the, the it's balanced now, I think. Could be, could be um, more balanced, yes, yes. for yeah. sure, but yeah, we, we really like to, <laughs> yeah. to push on, on that uh, side. Um, so, messy because we, we used they used to check to, to, to change our configuration so we, we used to move a lot yeah, our yeah, lab yeah. So. I designed the space for three time yeah and yeah and never I was never <laughs> never never be able to end. start to, <laughs> to build that project so why when why are you ask what you build here uh, yeah I did you build the space, the space. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I build the space but for now mentally and uh, the organization that's yeah um, well the, what about uh, classes ah, yeah yeah it's, it's part, of each, part of the core it's business. the part and, and, and yeah it's not <laughs> the core business it's not a because business. we don't okay. do business here we, we make like just <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> because yeah because uh, sometimes you know if you have to move uh, our time you have to choose yes or you do many class or yeah. you are moving stuff yeah and it's and it, this is this is it yeah okay. I understand I understand okay. yeah. but we always try to do classes here workshops of many different kind because I always ask to our member that I always say that a member can be the teacher mm -hmm. if uh, he has a specific interest uh, that he want to share. So sometimes telling this this thing 
you can have many um, opportunities to to just talk about uh, uh, vertically about one yeah, subject. One subject. Yes. Yeah. And we yeah we change a lot during those yeah. 10, 11, 12 years. So yeah. Maintain the the temperature in this area because it's there is a very right. high yeah. roof and yeah. so. Um, so this, this is just for machine. Yeah, yeah. So at the beginning there was nobody that teach you how to use a laser cutter or a beam cutter. So there, there was like a lack of information for, for people. So at the beginning our classes were, most of them were about uh, how to mill something, how to laser something. Mm -hmm. what. And then we understand that people can find this information by themselves. Oh, yeah, and then they need just people to talk about the project. So yeah. we, we switch in that direction. Yes, it's very interesting interesting topic because with this switch we start to collaborate with companies because other ways at the beginning when there wasn't so many machines around uh, the city yeah, of course a lot of people come was, was was a place where you can come and then machines your stuff and so it was something like when we made service we are like competitors with right. the companies but now we are not anymore like a service so yeah. we just teach people how to use machines and now we are like uh, a part of the chain because they need people that use these machines for for have them in the in the in their labs or in their in their companies yeah. so they ask people here so it's a very nice uh, way to work now I, yeah. I love this I love this homemade system for uh, on the wall here with the laser cut boxes that's, yeah it's that's, <laughs> that's, that's adorable that's really nice that's it's nice but it's it's um, only just put there you see it's uh, it, it, it has no uh, I don't like to, to to show now this space because it's it's not the the, 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 space, the space that it, it meant to be. Right. Okay. Because for sure we, we know how a workshop has to be. Yes. Okay. And uh, I but we we just find the, the 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 right dimension. For example, this two table we don't want this to be table, but we 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 want to half octagon table okay to to have all the mobility about about the area well um, all maker spaces seem to have and all fab labs seem to have a few common pain points and um, one of the pain points that I've uh, come across at every place I've been have been uh, people not being good about leaving the lab in, in beautiful shape when they leave and leaving their crap out and uh, is, is that a problem here also yes but it is a problem I think and I hope so <laughs> because of this movement you know from, from place yeah, to place you, and we and, uh, learning by doing we start creating like boxes of stuff so you have the tape boxes inside the, that box this is a transparent box you can find all the tapes here yeah. this this way is it's a, it's a good way to, yeah. to organize uh, ourselves, but now we need uh, <laughs> more yeah, spaces. Yeah. yeah, I think to keep simple, it's it's the, the keyword kind of. Yeah. Keep simple and have rules, because yeah. uh, even if we are open source and open for everyone, we need rules to coordinate ourselves. So yeah, of course. Yes. And we have some good users that uh, pass through there, yes. and you see the difference. Yeah. And other one that you see the different, but in the opposite uh, way. Yeah, we have two different types of membership. It's the base one. It's from four to eight, uh, from Monday to Friday, and it's mm -hmm. it's okay. It's for, and we have the the maker or pro user. That's it's, it's really few. Okay? Yeah, it, and you have access twenty four seven, and you have a place to put your stuff. Uh, you see, you have this area too inside that now it's full of stuff but this is for now the area for the um, for the the some pro users okay to put them to have their projects stored. yes you yes. have the shelves and um, and you, you can put there oh interesting okay oh, that's this is the, the big difference yeah, yeah. now yeah. we are thinking about to differentiate the hours uh, and open but uh, for now we are we are our access system our uh, just to know it's a CRM uh, manage management software of management okay, for our yeah. user and we can combine data and the, we are on an open source 
first project that we we are uh, evolving to yeah. how to use our machines to. We are very proud of about this project. It's Good. on GitHub and it's made by our users. So they create all the login, uh, all the um, we have our membership card can open doors and Turn can machines unlock on. machines and uh, stuff. Yeah. So we will be we are working we'll, on it. We'll um, unlock. We'll unlock the, We are we are in uh, you know testing moments of see, the machines, see, see. but we, we we have all our manager stuff. It's uh, on the cloud and we can control everything by people. That's so great. that that's help us to yeah. be free. Yeah. Do you have a minimum age for this space? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Eighteen. Uh, yeah. Eighteen. <laughs> but uh, no, you can. We, we have. We have several users yes. younger mm -hmm. than eighteen. So. Uh, an eye, uh, but yeah. they they have to come with with uh, with, uh, with their parents, parents yes, or sorry. friends or, or stay there. Yeah, yeah or okay. stay there because it's safe, in, if it's in a safe, you know, safe areas, yeah. they can they can stay also near the laser cutter. It doesn't matter, but they cannot go near the million machines because it's open and yes. it's dangerous. Yes. It's the machines place. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then we have a, a warm area there where there is no dust, no sound. I mean, the the, the best part for 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 design things and yeah. to work on your laptop, and yeah. you can you can be sure that there is no nothing that hurt yourself there. So it's a safe area over there, and also a meeting meeting area. Um, and it's also our classroom. Because we use it like a classroom. Okay. <laughs> I think all the responsibility of the space. And you have a fantastic CNC machine. Wow. We have uh, yeah, a big one, but I'm kind of uh, let's see. I just uh, checked for the for some part that we have to change. And uh, yeah, oh, it's and, a giant spindle too. But it's, it's yeah. really powerful. You yeah. can so you can really and you can move this part, and so you have you can reach a high, interesting height, plus ten centimeter, and it's really solid one. So it's okay to have a big machine here because you you yeah. can really produce. Well, that's it <laughs> from. Fab Lab Torino, uh, thank you very much to the people who were kind enough to uh, help me arrange the visit and uh, help me find my way to Fab Lab Torino. And uh, they were so kind to give me so much time. Um, Fab Lab Torino is a, a fantastic place. If you live in the, uh, in the Piedmont uh, region of uh, Italy, and have need for uh, the kind of facility that uh, Fab Lab Trino has to offer. You should definitely be in touch with the uh, with the uh, with the folks there and arrange to become a member. At least uh, get a tour and see what it's like. Uh, keep your eye on the website for upcoming classes and events. Uh, all kinds of events happen there, and also. Um, you know, uh, if you live somewhere else in the world, and which you probably do, <laughs> uh, please uh, look around where you are and see if there's a maker space. And if not, maybe you should start one. Uh, you know, give me a holler if I can help because uh, I uh, I think it's a good thing for the world, and I'm glad that uh, maker space ex maker spaces exist, fab labs exist, hacker spaces exist, uh, digital fabrication facilities exist, and so on. So uh, community is important, and uh, fab labs and maker spaces are at their core community. Well, before I left, um, I did get my makerspace diplomatic passport stamped. <laughs> I, I really like this. It's uh, it's a cool project that uh, if you don't have one of these things, I'll put a link in the uh, in the notes for this so uh, how, how to get one. Um, so anyway, hope that uh, wherever you are, life is good. I'm uh, glad to be finishing this one up. It took me a few days to edit it, and um, I'm getting better at editing. And uh, I'm actually off today. I'm in Rome. I'm going to a really interesting community uh, fab lab here in Rome this afternoon to, uh, to do an interview too, if I can find my way there on the bus system. So uh, from Italy, uh, I am uh, Dave. I hope that uh, your life is, uh, is full of adventure and uh, that uh, you uh, are having a good time. Ciao.